This rock you see before you is older than complex life on Earth. It's nearly 4 billion years old. It has been witness to the rise and fall of continents, the birth of oceans, and the start of complex life here on Earth. Welcome to the Canadian Corn Gat Mountains, where time stands still and the Earth reveals its deepest secrets. This is a place where visitors need armed guards, where the weather can kill you in minutes, and where the spirits of the ancient world still roam free. The Torngat Mountains stretch approximately 30,000 square kilometers across northern Labrador and Quebec, forming one of Canada's newest national park, the Torngat Mountains National Park. And as always, this is Ali, and welcome back to Urban Atlas. New is relative. These peaks have stood sentinel over the Arctic for over several billion years, making them among the oldest mountains on Earth. The word Torngat comes from the Inuktitut word Tongate, meaning place of spirits. And once you see these otherworldly peaks rising from the Labrador Sea, you'll understand why it's called exactly that. This isn't just a mountain range, it's a geological time machine a wildlife sanctuary, and a spiritual homeland all rolled into one. Now, to understand the Torngat Mountains, we need to understand how they were formed. And this means traveling back billions of years. The mountains are made of arcane rock, formed when Earth was still a hellish world of volcanic activity and asteroid impacts. But what makes the Torngats truly special isn't just the fact that they're so old. It's the fact that they're preserved. You see, while most ancient mountain ranges have been ground down by ice and time, the Tongats remain largely intact, offering us a rare glimpse into Earth's tumultuous past. The highest peak, Mount Cobwick, stands at 1,652 meters above sea level. Not impressive by rocky mountain standards, but remember, these peaks rise directly from sea level. The effect is staggering vertical walls of stone plunging into the Arctic Ocean. But it's not just the height that makes these mountains formidable. The Torngats are carved by some of the deepest glacial valleys here in North America. During the last glacial period, glaciers over a kilometer thick scoured these valleys, creating the dramatic fjords we see here today. And while the last glacial period might have ended 12,000 years ago, its fingerprints are everywhere in the Torngats. That's because these mountains hold the distinction of being home to the last glaciers in eastern North America. Today, remnant glaciers still cling to the highest peaks, but are slowly retreating. Scientists estimate that at current rates, these last eastern glaciers could disappear within our lifetime, making the Torngats not just a window into the past, but a harbinger into our future. The retreating ice has left behind a landscape of hanging valleys, glacial turns, and massive boulder fields called Felsenmere, which literally means rock seas in German. Walking through these areas may feel like traversing an alien planet. But the Torngats aren't just about rocks and ice. This is one of the few places on Earth where polar bears live in the mountains. Unlike their sea ice-dwelling cousins, these bears have adapted to a terrestrial lifestyle, denning in mountain caves and hunting seals from rocky shores. The Torngat Mountains support one of the world's healthiest polar bear populations, roughly 2,000 individuals. But sharing this landscape with apex predators requires extreme caution. And that's because there's no roads here no rescue helicopters that are available, and thus no margin for error. If you are interested in visiting the Torngat Mountains National Park, you must be accompanied by armed Inuit guards. A sobering reminder that humans are not the dominant species here. It's raw, unfiltered wilderness where one wrong decision can be fatal. And this population of approximately 2,000 bears share their mountain home with massive caribou herds, arctic foxes, and over 140 bird species. During brief summer months, these barren-looking peaks explode with life as millions of birds arrive to nest on the sea cliffs. But long before Europeans visited these mountains, the Inuit people had been living here for thousands of years. You see, Torngats aren't just a wilderness, they're a living cultural landscape, sacred to the Inuit people. Archaeological evidence reveals a complex history of human adaptation, and these archaeological finds tell the story of people who not only survived but thrived in one of Earth's most challenging environments. And today, Inuit guides are essential to any Torngats expedition. 
Their traditional knowledge passed down through generations could mean the difference between life and death in this unforgiving landscape. And thus, for the Inuit, the Torn Ghats aren't just mountains, they're the dwelling place of powerful spirits. Traditional stories speak of the Torn Gursuk, the great spirit who controls the weather and the hunt. Modern visitors often report feeling otherworldly presence in these peaks. The Torn Ghats experience some of the most extreme weather in North America. Located where the Arctic air masses collide with the Atlantic moisture, these mountains create their own violent weather systems. Winds here can exceed 200 km per hour, and temperatures can often plummet to negative 40 degrees Celsius. There's a saying, if you don't like the weather in the Torn Ghats, wait 5 minutes, it'll just get worse. That's because the weather here is notoriously unpredictable. A sunny morning can turn into a life-threatening blizzard within hours. The mountains create their own microclimate with weather patterns that can trap unwary travelers. In 2005, the Torngat Mountains became Canada's 42nd national park. And now, scientists are racing to study the Torngats before climate change alters them forever. Research stations monitor everything from glacial retreat to wildlife populations to traditional ecological knowledge. Tourism is carefully managed. The park operates more like a scientific expedition than a traditional tourist destination. The main challenge is balancing protection with access. These mountains hold crucial scientific data about climate change. We need to make sure that studying them requires minimal human impact. It's a delicate balance between research, conservation, and cultural preservation. In a world where wilderness is disappearing slowly, the Torngats offer something invaluable. A chance to explore some of the oldest rocks on Earth in their pristine state. They're a humbling reminder of our planet's power and our responsibility to protect what does remain. The Inuit believed that the spirits of the Torngats watch over all who enter their domain. Whether you believe in spirits or not, one thing is certain. These ancient mountains will change how you see the world and your place in it. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I love reading all of your comments and I love the ideas you guys leave me for future videos. So thank you so much for that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.